Ladies and gents, welcome back. Now, before we get started, I just want to express how much longer this video took to compile. I wanted to be very thorough in looking at this particular event. Now, the event in question is yesterday, a uh, reporter for the Rebel Media Organization was shot by police at close range. Now, in this presentation, I'm going to be showing you an interview that I had with a source I have in Ontario law enforcement that is familiar with these situations and the protocols and tactics and exercises used in these cases. So getting on with the story, Ezra Levant tweeted out yesterday, said, I just spoke with Alexa Lavoy, a brave reporter who was just assaulted by Trudeau's police. She tells me the cop hit her three times with a club and then shot her with a tear gas canister in the leg at point blank range. Trudeau has instructed his police to attack journalists. Now, all hyperbole aside, I really just want to get to the facts in this situation. And we can first watch the video together ourselves and see what exactly happened here. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Now, I can understand if that was rather difficult to watch, but I, I feel that it's it's necessary to see it without conjecture first, and then I can I can give I, we can break it down together. So, um, the officers aimed right at Alexa's leg and discharging the weapon at uh, one minute and three seconds mark of the live feed. Oh, one hour, three minutes and 42 of this live feed that, that they're referring to. Now, this is a different camera angle and it's showing it's showing the weapon in question here that was discharged at the reporter's leg. Now, I asked um, a I asked my source in law enforcement, what was this weapon that was used? And he replied that this was likely an Arwen 40 millimeter rubber bullet and that is this weapon here that's used in law enforcement moving on yeah, there's there's more imagery of that particular shot at the reporter's leg i then went on to question and ask what is this object because this is this is another point in the video what is this particular object he replied, this is a taser. And then uh, in my interest, I wanted to know what this particular object was. And the reply for that was, looks like an issued leather glove. I just want to get all the facts straight before, you know, we go on with the analysis of this video. 
I said, uh, is it not the responsibility for the officer to control their weapon? I've heard of officers being reprimanded for dropping weapons. My source replied, yes, it's hard to see what happened. If I had to guess, the Arwen was fired because the weapons were dropped. However, the reporter got it, which is wrong. The Arwen is a specific target device. It is not supposed to be shot aimlessly into a crowd. It is meant to target specific violent people. Also, potentially lethal if hit in the head. I continue to ask further questions. I see an officer from behind the line reach through at a protester prior to any struggle and, dis- and discharge of a weapon. Then, to the right of the incident, you can see a taser on the ground and an officer reach for it. What is your take on what you can see in this video? And this is, this, this is a slow motion breakdown. <laughs> of that specific moment. There's a taser on the ground. So an officer has lost control of their weapon in this situation, has dropped it on the ground. And I really want to point out the fact that you don't see any other hands reach for this weapon. I think that is very important to note here because... Uh, we just want to make sure no other claims are being made in this scenario. So officer loses control of a weapon that they're entrusted with carrying and retains possession of it at this point in time. So my question being, what is your take on what you can see in this video? Response was, so you can see that the officer, uh, so you can see that officer that grabbed, referring to the the one that reached through the crowd and grabbed uh, one of the protesters. He's on the arrest team. He identified a guy they wanted to take into custody, and the goal was to surprise grab him and haul him behind the line. If I had to guess, those guys had their tasers out to effect that arrest and drop them in the scuffle. It would be strange for them to fall out of a holster. Those holsters are very secure. Does that make sense? Do I need to explain that differently? I can't tell why they fired the Arwen, especially at the female reporter. The arrest team hangs behind the line with the less lethal team Arwen and look for people to arrest. They will take, they will target violent people and people who seem to have control of the crowd, leaders, etc. So you can see here the one he's referring to as the one that reaches through the crowd to grab the protester, who he believes may be uh, some sort of leadership role or what have you. These are estimates, I, I, I take it, are, that are being assessed constantly. It's hard to know why it was fired. It, it's fairly clear that it did not hit the intended target. Regardless, the crowd is passive resistant at best, not aggressive. So the Ontario use of force model is being violated. You can use intermediate weapons on Sorry, you cannot use, you can't use intermediate weapons on a passive resistant crowd. You can Google the Ontario use of force model, which I have here. So this is a chart that law enforcement use for uh, initiating the use of force. They have the situation in the middle, and then there's assess, plan, and act. And then... From here, they have to understand whether the the intended target is cooperative, passive resistant, active resistant, assaultive, or I'm sorry, I don't know that word. Seriously, serious bodily harm or death. Oh yeah, assaultive. Um, I've never heard that word. Sorry. So that that is the degree wheel for. Uh, assessing the situation then it goes on then it then it escalates to perception tactical considerations officer presence so bring in the officer's presence 
And then further escalation would lead to communication. Further, further escalation. And this, this is, again, escalation on the part of the person uh, who is the subject of arrest or subject of inquiry by the police here, not, not, the, poli not the other way around. Um, the next uh, in the assessment would be physical control, and this is it labeled soft, soft physical control. And then further, further would lead to intermediate weapons and then lethal force. Again, this is the weapon that was discharged on the reporter who was shot in the leg, evidently. Now, the Ottawa police have issued a statement on this. Protesters were assaulting officers with weapons warranting the deployment of mid-range impact weapons. And in brackets here, Arwin, which was identified as the the weapon used on the uh, on the reporter in this situation to stop the violent actions of protesters. Now, this is the statement by the police. You can take this how you will. We've just reviewed the uh, the footage of what actually occurred here. What they're claiming is that they were in the right to deploy mid-range weapons effectively at close or point-blank range and are arguing that it was within their lawful right because the individuals in this case were uh, committing violent actions with weapons. Now, that being said, we can see again the course of events that took place. This is the officer jumping through the line to obtain an arrest on a person. People are pulling this one man back. Batons being used against other protesters. A, a shot fired. A scream. Taser dropped and then obtained. There's a glove there. Cross checking with a baton. Another shot fired. And the reporter being pulled away in this situation. I understand how difficult this may be to watch, but I think it's very important that we get this story out and we get this story available for everyone and anyone to see for themselves because claims are being made on both sides. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please share this out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, keep on trucking.